Hello, my name is Beep Boop. My purpose is to enable you to learn how to animate the Cyberamic characters for the Chuck E. Cheese's Experience Project. The point of me is to see whether or not you are skilled enough to work with the rest of the team. Practice makes perfect, so if Nintegadario says no, don't worry, you still can redeem yourself. He has one rule though when animating shows, Rockstar shows are off limits, anything with Rockstar will be denied, so please don't work yourself to the ground on a modern Chuck E. Cheese show, only to be angry and disappointed that it was denied. Not every show is a winner, so if one is denied, don't let it bother you. Well that's all I have to tell you for this introduction. Let's get into the tutorial, shall we? Take it away, Dario. Okay, so I see you want to help out with the Chuck E. Cheese's experience. Well, to do that, let's get started with the movements of the Cyberamic. To animate a Cyberamic, there, here's one thing you want to know. You want the head to pull the body. So, you can't just move the body left and right, you want the head to move it. So, if you're going to rotate the head, you, you select this neck bone. This bone is for up and down, and it's set to this. You want that every time the head is down, and when you don't want it down, you want it to zero. And usually you need about eight frames to lift the head up. To turn the body, you gotta select both of these, because this is Chucky. This is the old generation Chuck that, because if you just do this, that is that is not right. Pizza Time Theater has an arm move, so you want to select both the upper arm on the left and the spine. And you want to avoid not grabbing the line, because if you don't grab the line, you're going to get this, and you don't want that. You want to grab the line and turn it, and it'll look fine. Just avoid, avoid any clipping of the hand. That's what I suggest. So let's start with that. Press the record button. And first off, you want the head to turn. So we'll skip a few frames. Boom. And then right here, we'll turn the body. So that you got that so far. You may want it to be faster because these uh, Pizza Time Theater animatronics were really fast for their time. So, back then, that well, actually, still, the head pulls the body. So what you want to do is you want to have you want to have some in between. So leave the neck at least maybe three frames. And then right as the body turns, you want to move the head slightly. So it'll look like this. And now let's move the body back. So you did that. Move the body to the other side. Select the neck. Leave some space. And now move the head. So then, maybe a little more space actually. You don't want the head turning too much. You want it a l just enough. So you have this. See how smooth that is? And that's how you do a body turn. If you don't do the neck, you're not doing yourself a favor. And that's that's a problem I actually see in Roblox. So let's let's get rid of these keyframes and move on to the microphone arm. Let's just get rid of all that. Oh, oops. See, you don't want to get rid of all that. So the microphone arm, you want it to always be. And I, I've provided you with the keyframe so you can copy and paste. But you want it to always be six frames apart. So, and it should always be to this set. 
And to keep it up, you do that and put it back down. And that's basically all there is to it with the microphone arm. Now next, also to do this, you copy control C and control V. So control C to copy and control V to paste. Now let's work on the eyelids. The eyelids have a set, so they're always open. They should always be open to this amount. So anytime he blinks, it you should have this copied. And every blink is three frames. So one, two, three. Then close the eyes all oh, close the eyes all the way. And then you want two frames in between. One, two, three. And we'll copy this. So you can understand where it, See how smooth that is? Now I think the eyes are going to be... Oop, we didn't mean to do that. I think the eyes are going to be tricky. This is basically on you. Um, I would set them... Well, I'll have a preset to where you can have the eyes. Actually, I'll put one now. This isn't going to be in the package. I'm going to put the actual eye things. But yeah, you should. these are also three three frames apart. So they should be frame four. Boom. He wants to move to the other side. Two, three. Boom. And then one, two, wait, one, two, three. Back. So you should have... That didn't look good. One, two, three. It should always, with the mouth and, um, the mouth, the eyelids, and the eyeballs should always have three frames apart when moving. The mouth has a set distance, so it's, there are constraints. Um, obviously you can see clipping. My advice would be to... Um, what do you call it? Distance yourself so it doesn't clip. So if his head's down, do that. Unless his head is up, so if we put his head up, you can open the mouth all the way. And that's basically what it's for. Yeah, when it's down, you don't want that. So you want to keep it safe and simple. And this should also be... One, two, three. And make sure this is always set to 30 FPS. If it's not, then you're not doing yourself a favor. Always check that. Um, I think that's about it for Chucky as far as the animation goes. So we got down body turn, and you can move the head up any time. The head, the, the body movements and the neck movements is not gonna affect the head when you lift it up. You're good to do that any time. And that's basically how you animate Chuck. Uh, my advice is take your time, don't rush yourself, and it's best to use video reference. So say you wanted to do uh, a certain show always do image as planes and this is for Chuck and uh, Helen or a guest that may be in pizza time theater lip syncing is also important what you want to do is let's let's uh, first of all your playback this little thing right here your playback should have audio scrubbing and AV sync this is so your frame rate doesn't drop or if it drops, it still stays in sync. So let's do some lip syncing. And I'll just make something up like, Hello folks, welcome to the Chuck E. Cheese's experience. Oh jeez, that scared me. Okay, I guess I had cha-cha slide on. So you got, Hello folks, welcome to the Chuck E. Cheese's experience. And you can do that with audio. To add audio in, ugh. I didn't mean to have cha-cha slide in here. To add audio, you want to shift A and press sound. 
And this is very important. So let's see. Okay, I guess I don't have anything. So let's do beep boop. Hello. Hello, my name is beep boop. And then when you're done lip syncing. Oh, hello. You want to copy the mouth opened, skip three frames and copy the mouth closed. And this is when you're done lip syncing. So you go back, copy this and whenever it's needed you do that and it'll my be name is beep boop beep boop boop See hello that? my name is beep boop and that's basically there is two lip syncing also i forgot to mention when you're doing body turns when the body stops the arm has to stop so you can't keep going or else that'll happen so keep it keep it consistent to where the arm doesn't move on its own don't do that. That's bad. This is good. 